Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. In this video I will show you how to display hearts and other information in the tab screen below a player's name and on the side of the screen. Using the scoreboard command we can display all sorts of interesting information from a death counter to a kill counter, even one for how many diamond ore you've mined in the world. All of this can be done if you have permission to use the commands. So on a server you'll need to be OP and in a single player world you'll need to have cheats enabled. This can be done by opening your world to a LAN and then enabling cheats. To display the hearts in the tab screen we're going to need to use just two commands. So enter into chat, slash scoreboard, objectives, add, hearts, health and then press enter and your second command is slash scoreboard, objectives, set display, list, hearts and then press enter again. You can now press tab and see the hearts, however you may need to take damage or heal some hearts before the game updates. So we successfully added hearts to the tab screen. You can now do this in your own worlds, but if you stick around I'll tell you more about the commands you just used and how to do more with them. Let's start with the first command we used. It simply creates a scoreboard with a name that tracks a statistic. Add is where we tell the game to add an objective to the scoreboard. Hearts is the name that we give it and health is the statistic. So when you add a new one, you need to give it a unique name and tell it which statistic to track. The second command tells the game where to display the statistic we are tracking. Set display means that we want to display it. List is one of the three places you can display the information. The other two are sidebar and below name and hearts is the name of the scoreboard we created in the previous command. So now all you need to know is what types of statistics you can track. All of these can be added in the first command in place of health. Death count will track when a player dies. Player kill count will track your PvP kills. Total kill count will track PvP and mob kills. And health will track your hearts. And in 1.9 there will also be XP for the amount of experience you have. Level for your XP level food for how hungry a player is, and air for how much oxygen you have left if you're swimming underwater, and armor for the rating of the armor that you have equipped. But that's not all, and here's where things get a bit complicated. We can also use statistics, and there are a lot of them. So to break it down, statistics can track when you craft an item, use an item, break an item, mine a block, kill a mob, and get killed by one too. You will need to type out which one you want to use, followed by dot .minecraft. Dot, and then the name. This is where you put the name of an entity or block that you want to track. As well as that, the base stat can track many more things too, like how much damage you have dealt and received, how many minutes you've played for, or even the amount of items that you've enchanted. For a full list, see the description box down below. And here's an example of a command to track how many diamond door you've mined in the world. So last of all I have two tips for you, firstly these commands are case sensitive so be careful with your caps and second you can press tab to auto complete the word you're typing when using commands. So that's it from me of this Minecraft tutorial, if you have enjoyed it leave a like and if you're not already subscribed then do so for more awesome Minecraft tutorials, we've made over 200 here on the channel so check out the tutorials playlist for more of them. But that's it from me this video, as always thank you ever so much for watching and I'll catch you next time, bye bye.